Yo, gamers, playing some Rammus in the jungle today. He's my second most played all time. I have the Durian skin. What's up? I'm going to be doing a full scaling of heavy farming, power farming, full clear Rammus here. He's not the most efficient full clearer, but he is a really efficient champion farmer when it comes to the late game. He's very, very good. And they locked in Belveth and Misfortune, so I locked in Rammus. Um, I didn't want to deal with Belveth as... Elise, so here we are. E auto W and make sure I'm I'm turning off range indicators for my E. So Ramus does have one combo when you're farming, and it's E auto W in the early game. You're puncturing taunt, or it used to be called puncturing taunt. Now it's called frenzying taunt. Ooh, fancy. Let me just turn on our W here for a second. That'll be enough. Frenzying taunt gives me movement speed when it's active. And it's a lot of movement speed too. So, I'm sorry, not movement speed, attack speed. And the longer that we, the longer that we have our W up, the more that we keep our attack speed. So this extends it. So if you can see, it keeps refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. Just super cool. It makes Raptors really easy to take on Ramus. If you went to our next camp, you can learn the timing of it over time. That was a little bit, I think a little bit late on me, but is what it is. Our bot lane getting kills early is is great. Our top lane getting killed early is expected. Kled into Mundo. He has Ignite. He has Grievous Wounds. This Mundo, he's gonna ping that this character doesn't have flash. But I'm I will do nothing this game that will compromise my overall strength. So that's a slash mute all. I know he's like, but he, all he did was give you. All he did was give you the summoners. It's like, yeah, that's enough for me, honestly. To be like that's it so even though ramus isn't really a a really great full clear style jungler if you do it right it's only 317 the scuttle hasn't even spawned yet we'll have our queue up and yeah we got a decent leash but i'm actually gonna be here for this get my ghost roll in there's the belva i can get my w up on it my e there we go. That's all the Belveth needed. Yeah, that's good. That's Belveth's flash. Belveth, uh, she uh, is a good duelist early, but it's not against Ramus. There's nothing she can do. This Mundo is going to get absolutely rinsed this game. And there's nothing I can do about it, buddy. If I go up there, I die. Simple as that. I go back here. I pick up my bomby center. I think it does more damage overall than the... It does more damage to minions and monsters than I think the Bramble Vest. So, I will oftentimes get the bomby center, then the Bramble Vest, and then finish Sunfire, then Thornmail. I'm a big fan of Sunfire first, Ramus. If you're going Thornmail first, Ramus, it can be good. Oh, Belveth is actually ganking. Yeah, I can't get there in time. Sorry. That was a pretty quick gank. Dragon spawns in 16 seconds. I wonder if they would continue going. Bomby Cinder hard carrying me here. The more time they spend going for kills, the, the better for me. All I'm going to do is ward it. Just ward it. Let him know that I see him. And that might that might get him to, to not do the objective. Belveth is more of a topside objective person. She wants to do the grubbies. She wants to do the Rift Herald. So that's where I'm going to meet her. At my full strength, hopefully. Is in that top side river every time. The only problem is that she's going to have this out of control cled. But I'm hoping that I can 1v2 the cled. Eventually. Can't do it yet. It's a, You can choose to max whatever you want on Ramus. I like to max Q, personally. Um, to get the cooldown much, much lower. It lets me... It speeds up everything I do. So I'm, Bomby Cinder is doing a lot of the work for me. My Q, it does more damage, first of all, when I get there. So yeah, you can max W to get more damage, but the Q is already giving you more damage. But it lets me get from place to place. Now, how you can gauge if you're wasting points into it is right now, I have... I had it up, and the camp wasn't nearly dead, right? So I was like, okay, that's how I can tell if I put 20 points into it. Two is good, I think. Three is good, too. He's going to get Scarl back. He's got a pink ward. I'm actually just going to go for grubbies. Ramus is okay at grubbies. 
Put a ward down there. Just give me a little bit more vision around that corner. Just a tiny bit. I think Kled's on a back timer, which should make these grubbies pretty free for me. I should have got my Bomby Cinder on multiples, but they basically full heal anyways. The nine grubs from Belveth is super good because right now, she's actually nerfed now. She doesn't get as much attack range um, when she's in her base form. Here comes the Belveth. Oh, she does get it. She, she's going to get her big form. She's got Conqueror. I don't know where Victor is. Oh, let's just run away. Run away, run away. I'm going to go back in. Get him. Get this guy off his, off his high horse, literally. We have our Q upgrade. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it. Vex likes it. We can't kill him and we die here. Yeah. That's tough. Dang it. That is just so tough. Alright, pick up Bramble. We got two grubs. She got one. If if we had outsmited her, she wouldn't have gotten her evolve form. It would have been an easy fight. But it's it's a minor setback in the grand scheme of things. Like, yeah, the fight didn't go so well. We're 0-1, but we're up in farm. Things are looking okay for us, honestly. <laughs> Copium. Oh, nice Ezreal E to help me leash this. Thank you. Good. So now we got the Bramble Vest and the and the Bomby Cinders for maximum AoE. Or maximum clear. Belveth can very easily take that dragon. Because she wins the early fights, she also earns rights to the first dragon. There's literally no reason for me to fight her if she is on a back. Belveth is now going... She's going to take her tempo bot lane, for sure. I'm going to try to get a full clear off. It's worth it to full clear. I do. I think so. This is probably an easy counter gank bottom. It's an easy counter gank bottom. I'm going to I'm gonna trust my gut. Easy counter gank bottom. Ward the dragon. This is a counter gank. Just chill here. I have my ghost. Belveth should show here. Go to the next bush. Go on the Morgana. She's gone. I still have my W up. Okay, we got it's fine. Oh, Belveth is there though. Hmm. True. A little bit too far forward. Ends up being a three for two. I think Karma might have died as well. I'm not sure if she did or not. Okay, let's go for more parts of the Sunfire Cape. I like it a little bit better. Looks like Belveth will be going. Oh, Clyde with a beautiful gank mid. Vex can fear. No, she can't even fear. Yep. And he cleanses the... The tower aggro. I hope Karma wants in on this. This dragon. Okay, I can maybe shred this as... Bel That's all Belveth's dashes. I can taunt. I can tank this. It's Misfortune Alt. There we go. What I can't tank is that Morgana. Yeah. We had we did, had a pretty good fight there. We're pretty tanky. Which is nice. You got this guy, Mundo. End him. I believe in you. <laughs> it's dodgeball up in the top lane. Okay, I'm making my way downtown, Mundo. Slowly. I'm slow. He can't get pulled in. I'm almost there. Oh, Kled turned around. R. He slowed. E. He's taunted. Nice. We got the shutdown, too. Let's go ahead and get the second set of grubbies. There we go. 3-3-2 three, three, now. Beautiful. We have a really good matchup against most of their team. Just 
Is Babette still down there? I'm not sure. Yeah, Babette is on the dragon. So I'm just going to go for the grubs. Keep it nice and simple. Sunfire Cape does really nice damage to major objectives. Like, we might be able to get these at the same time. Oh, so close. That was close. Okay. Go ahead and knock this one up. Uh-oh, that Victor knows that I want that Scuttle Crab. He's got all the time in the world to mess with me. Now, basically, I got only armor, so... I'm just going to go ahead and try to, to recover top lane here. He has, he has TP, though. This actually might be a gank angle. Crazily enough. Okay, go around him. This guy has to know he's doomed now. He doesn't even get a second dash. He didn't dash through me at all. Okay, I have my taunt up. Give me that kill. I'm playing for late game. Give me the kills. This might be gone now. No, it's still up. Huge. Give me that scuttle crab. Put my sunfire on it as quickly as possible. Sorry, Mundo. I gotta keep the kills for myself. You do what you do, I'll do what I do. How about that? No reason to back yet. I want to be able to turn my Bramble into a Thormel next time I back. So 1900 gold is the marker. Again, I like Sunfire better, and you don't really need boots early on on Rammus because you, ha you have your Q to travel from camp to camp, and that's the only thing you're really traveling for. Boots are nice, but they delay you so much. Right, after this camp, I back. After red, I back. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Again, I personally prefer Q Max on Ramus. Again, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be playing top lane, you can make a pretty good argument for W. But for jungle, it's Q, simply because you can get to and fro much much faster. Hey, Kled is going all in on the Mundo. If I had backed earlier, maybe it could have helped him out. But down goes the Mundo. Okay, I get my Thorn Mail. But honestly, as far as landing phases go, all three towers still stand besides that one. And he got the plate. Yeah. That's tough. I have two items. I, I guarantee you we win this fight. So first thing we do is blast over. Belveth wants this Rift Herald more than anything in the world. But she can't... She can't have it. I'm gonna get my taunt off. 100%. Hit my R. Hit Ghost. Hit... Ooh, I don't want to hit... Get hit Chained again. Make sure I get this 900 Smite off. Okay, we got it. Okay, I have my Q. Can I get around the fence? I can. Saving my taunt for Kled if he shows. Good. It's really, really easy. Okay, what are you going to do now, Morgana? Yeah, I'm dead. But they should get the Kled there. Nice. Getting that Kled down there is absolutely enormous. Now Mundo gets a free push on the top side because the top laner is dead rather than just killing the support who was really doing nothing besides just holding mid which wasn't going to take that much damage anyway. Hence why I pinged my team to hit the Clyde instead of the Morgana. Even though he was full health. Yeah, I go, I'll go Ruby Crystal here. The extra max HP goes absolutely crazy on me. I can farm out for a bit. The Victor is the only thing that's that troubling for me. Okay, you know what, Velveth? I thought it was really rude what you just did just there. That slows too. Holy cow, they do have a turret. Sorry, Miss Fortune. Use that Q. Oh, we hit, we hit this for sure. Oh, now you're done for. 
Use our Sunfire against this. Victor, he's just like a big camp. He's like a Baron Nasher. Yeah, outside the zone if we can. Taunt him. Oh, he didn't get to, I didn't get taunt off. We press E on this guy. Oh, we get outside the misfortune zone. Yeah, there we go. And Mundo gets the kill. Good stuff. Kled's gonna pick up a kill top, but it is what it is. We can stop the we stop the soul the soul stacking as well here. It's gonna back inside the pit. I can't quite afford a. I cannot quite afford my Sork boots, but I'm gonna wait. I, I think Sork boots are probably worth it. Merc treads are probably more worth it. Honestly, going Mercs on ramps against Morgana, Victor. But I want to be able to one shot the Belveth. One shot the Clud as well. So we go the Sork Shoes. X Gates are quite, quite nice. Alright, E, Auto, W. I've not been farming that much. We've been farming champs for the last little while now. Okay, roll into this camp. Auto, W. No objectives ups means that I can kind of just chill. I want to fight with my Ghost. A whole team is scrapping down there, though, and Mundo's down there, too. You know what? I'll, sh I'll make an appearance. It's something that's going to break out. I'm going to put the Rift Herald down before we start this fight off. Okay. Let's go kill some people. Oh, with the root. Okay. Having Mercs would have been really nice there. Okay. We hit this, and we're, and we're out. Oh my gosh. He's the great Bandini. Oh my gosh, they made their way too. This is a death. This is a death. This is a death. Kill him. Yes. Glad goes down. We knew we were going to die there. You're not flashing that, Victor. Oh my gosh, he actually gets the flash off. This game has been rowdy. Hey, I was one who ended up getting caught out there, but we still got a bunch of damage off, and we made our great escape. Use your R to to get to the hex gate, and then hex gate through to the other side. Pretty nuts. Use my Q to get to the hex gate at rapid speed. Take it. Land on the other side. I think we press ghost here. We run down this Velvet. 100%. Uh, we can run... Actually, we can just probably just kill this Morgana. Dang, everyone's getting away with just a tiny bit sliver of health. My ghost is gone, but my my spirit is not. R over the, over the binding? No way. Here, we get a taunt off. Someone's gonna die here. Press my Q. Go for the Belveth here. Press W, E, a little bit too much. But we tried our best. We're asking our team to follow up on the most ridiculous plays, and it's it's really getting people caught out, but now I'm playing my game. Oh, help karma. Help. Yes. It's a great job. A little, little karma vex double ping. Very nice job by those two. Whoa, Kledim is prime, brother. Where are you heading? Okay. Very nice. Buy a little bit of magic resist here. Jack Shield is the next best item. It gives us magic resist and armor. The two things that we need more than anything right now. And you're like, Do magic resist? You don't need that. No, it gives you a ton of armor, though. It's the thing. Ignore the Kled. Go for the misfortune. Scratch that. Hit the Kled. He shred- he absolutely shreds himself on our spiky shell. Okay, she's gotta do something. She's taunted. Okay, let's go for Baron. If I see Belveth, I jump Belveth.
Kill the Baron. Got my taunt off. Yeah, we get out. No way I die. Oh my gosh. Might be. I was pinging my team to do the Baron. But unfortunately, I took too much damage. The victor was there too. Make sure I let my team know that that was my bad. Okay, we Q in, we E, we W. Cled is ulting something. I don't think Ezreal. Hopefully Ezreal can get out. He cannot. Okay, everyone dies here then. Probably. Use my taunt on this bad Larry. No reason to surrender here. In fact, Kled, they're all going for the objective and Kled is going for the tower. There we go. It's a freebie. I'm gonna push up. Try to get on the opposite side of this wave. Oh, Morgana's already here. Never mind. Get one minion. I'm backing off. That, I'm not an efficient minion clear. I'm way more efficient at just running over here and taking these wolves. Ramus's late game single target clear is actually very, very bad. So taking things like red buff and blue buff and rift herald specifically. It's quite challenging on Ramus. Can be. I have my alt up. Let's just use it. On, it doesn't really matter who the target is at this point. There we go. I'm not really comfortable doing the Baron, but I will take this blue buff. Okay. We scale too. I mean, Ezreal scales really, really well. Belvet scales well, but she, she scales well to... To hitting my spiky shell. I have to smite this. It's the only way. I can press ghost here. Maybe catch that victor. I don't have my alt. Okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get one here. You give it, give the the victor a little pump fix so that karma can get out scot free. Okay, we should be able to get the tower here. Ezreal does go down anyway. We just gotta get out. That's that's Morgana Flash. That's good stuff. Got a back. They might do this. I have to recall and get out there as quickly as possible. Get make sure I have a ward for Mundo. I can ward. Or TP here. Oh, my team knows. I think they might just try to rush this. Jump on the bell bath over the top. Oh, we use our taunt into the black shield. That's fine. Press our W. We get we get binded. It is what it is. They're gonna run out of resources eventually. Our whole team's not here. Let's start the Baron up. Make sure I'm around at least. Just gotta make sure I'm at least around for this. We can do this, Baron. I can tank it. I got a spiky shell. Where's that cloud coming from? It's coming from the top. Got the taunt off on the Kled. He still gets the pull, though. We need to cut back a little bit. That misfortune still hurts, even if we have infinite armor. They lost two. We lost two. We have the Karma, though. We have the Vex initiation. I trust. I trust that they will be able to lock that down. Oh, W. She's autoing herself to death. Mundo hit that cleaver. Yes! One more for the lads. No, there's no one more. Unfortunate. Hey, but they do clear the Velvet, but I am dead, unfortunately. Getting hit by the Morgana Bind was the end of that play. I think Randuin's Omen could be good here, but I think I just want the movement speed of Dead Man's Plate. I think that is going to be the way. A real battle going on in this game.
when their team is popping off. It's pretty balanced across the board for both teams. Items wise, this Ezreal has three, I have three. Mundo has three. Clad three. Misfortune only two. Okay, I have my roll, I have my alt. I'm just gonna jump on this dude. He doesn't want any of this work at all. Okay, he's a little bit fast. He's a little fast. I'm gonna put a ward on the Baron. So we just just so we know if they're doing it. Press my Q. Look for Miss Fortune here. She's goner. She uses her barrier. Is it gonna be enough? I have a very spiky shell. It's really spiky. That's the best part. I will back and defend that tower. That club cannot defeat me. In fact, I will buy movement speed to make my job easier here. Do not let him back. Here we go. You yank me, but I'm going to stay on you like white on rice, homie. Like white on rice. He is getting a lot of health back. Fight him. W. Oh, he can definitely beat me. Oh, turns out he can totally beat me. And I threw out the game because I didn't push. Wow, that cled. Let's see, what's his build? Collector? He's got 50% critical strike chance. Shut down. It's been... His basic attack did, did a lot of my HP. It's very interesting. It's the mortal reminder. But it's not even a Lord Dominic's regards. It just, it's shocking how much damage he can do to me. His Conqueror is very important. I have Aftershock. That makes some sense. X tech goes insane for them, unfortunately. Vex is walking up there when the Velvet has her big abilities kind of troll, but so was me dying to Mundo. Okay. I, I'm still looking for my items, so I, I've stopped farming for a long time. Just been PvPing. That's all my item spikes, you know? Usually you want to play around your item spikes. That's when you're strongest. I want to get a dead man's plate. It's a very expensive item. It takes a while to get there. Once you get there, your movement goes crazy. Okay. Maybe Ninja Tabai would be would be good against that Kled. Ooh, Vex is in trouble against that champion. Yeah, Vex is in trouble. Mundo's got to go down there, which means I got to stay with the squad mid. This is no time to go aggressive. Let Mundo find the Kled. And see who wins that. Actually, let's not even see who wins that. Let's go, let's go show up. Actually, let's not go show up. Let's turn around. And help out this Karma. Oh, they're going to go for Baron. They are going to go for Baron. Okay, they're on it. They are taking it fast. I'm going to R, W first. Run for my life. A taunt. Oh, we can't get the kill. Come on, Mundo, you got this. They're still tanking Baron. Holy, the damage! Very nicely played by my team right there. This is a brawl. But we managed to pull that off uh, when we were down numbers. Mundo and Ezreal came in clutch. Vex, unfortunately, was still dead from the Clad 1v1, but she did enough damage that the Mundo was able to go clean up easily and rejoin the team fight. Everything everything affects each other, okay? Everyone's on our everyone on our team is well is playing well. Everyone on the other team is playing well. It's a good game. Yeah, I like these kind of games. They're fun. Alright, we take this. Just stick around my team as best I can. I don't know if I can hold him. I, I don't know if I can hold this Clad. Let's see if I can't make a, an appearance with my squad. All right, I'll do this. Mundo's gonna TP bot. That's actually not a bad move at all. This W. My job is basically just to sit here and tank this. They are going to contest. Looks like Karma can mantra Q this. We can't. We don't take it fast enough. We don't take it fast enough. We have. To, we have to peel off. 
You just think I'm going to jump him? I will jump him. There we go. And everyone else that that's not. Oh, yes. And I'm going to run down this Belveth. Good. And press EW. Belveth kills herself on my spiky shell. IDK. Let's just, let's just try to get this tower. We got the kills now, do we do? Oh, that's a Morgana. That hurts. Let's go around her. See if I can get her to use Black Shield. Dang it. Okay, there we go. She's gone. We're from Hib, I think. Unfortunately, I think that's all we can get. This has been an absolute battle. I can get my dead man's plate though, so I'm gonna back and get that. And souls in a minute. They're gonna be, they're gonna have a lot of power on the map here coming up. Okay, we grab this dead man's plate, and I think we probably want I think a warmogs. I think the warmogs is important, and it makes us faster. Let's do that. Hit this. Now, now with my Dead Man's Plate, I'm, I get a ridiculous movement speed. I can jump this Misfortune from anywhere. Jump this Victor from anywhere. Again, anyone that anyone that tries to hit me, you, if you actually just go for the AP champion in the late game, you can you can really just eliminate them. Ramus's late game engages are very very lethal. Hit my Smite on her. Go around. Good nice knock up, bro. I got a spiky shell. Okay, I had to I had to step outside the alt range. Unfortunately, I don't know how much we can get done here. I'm actually just gonna go for this. Oh, cut off the club maybe? This club can kill me in a 1v1 pretty easily. I've been avoiding him since. An ally has been slain. No, how is this happening? Need to be taking the soul. Uh oh. Go help her. Go help her. Go help her. We have to run now, though. Maybe with the karma we can do it. I press Q on this guy. Slow down his pace a little bit. Smite him. Blast away. There we go. Here we go. Take this honey fruit. Definitely see me on a ward. Maybe I can kill. No, I can't. I gotta get out. Okay. I'm sorry for what I did to you. I'm really sorry. Morgana's gonna back. They got the Hex Tech Soul. No, we got the dragon. Would you look at that? We are the ones with the dragon now. Nice. Oh, Victor. Hey, buddy. Oh, Morgana. Hey. How you guys doing? Belveth is here as well. I'm gonna try to outrun her. We're gonna go the long way. We're going the long way. Belveth came over here. I'm gone. Holy, I'm fast. I have to back though. I can't. I literally cannot stay. I wish I had warm mugs. I do not though. Okay, if I wasn't clowning around, we could have been here for this. Take the hex gate. I have ghost in five seconds. Press my Q. They're not going to expect me on the flank. We hit him with our taunt. Make sure you step back on him. R over the top. Oh, wow. I didn't have as much HP as I thought I did. I miscalced. You can't get him back. You can't get... Scarl back. Well played. Nice job, Mundo. Way to go. This Mundo came back in this game and really made it a positive impact. We get a triple double on Ramus. This game was very, very fun. Some real back and forth action. I had a great time. Hope we had a great time watching. Anyways, if you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. See you in the next one. Bye.